Hello there, and welcome back to another episode of Crazy Countries and All About Them. Now, I know it's been a bit of a while since my last episode. It's only been... Oh. Well, Sam and Ella's got nothing on me. After all that time, I wonder how the Globe of Truth is doing. Actually, where is that thing? I've not seen it since... Oh, there it is. I guess I'll just go get it. No, wait, come back. I need to tell the people that we're going to... Singapore is the second smallest country in Asia after the Maldives. Luckily for Singapore, the ocean seems to be taking care of this. The official spokesperson for the ocean said the project will take about 70 years. How long will the project take? About 70 years. Due to the small size of Singapore, the capital city kind of situation is complicated. 5.5 million people live in Singapore in a 728 kilometer squared space, doing a pretty impressive 41,000 people per square kilometer population density. Both Singapore and the UK actually share a lot of similarities. Both are island nations and both share a majority English speaking population. Both also have a stretch of water named after them. Hey, hey, come back! It's probably because Singapore is a British colony for over 150 years. It didn't stop them changing to dollars though. The origin, of Singapore. the origin of Singapore is probably one of my favourites. In the early game, Singapore, as well as most British Southeast Asian colonies, unionised into Malaysia in September 1963. <laughs> Singapore, this union allowed for greater open access to markets. However, as soon as Singapore joined the union, it was clear that there was a huge political divide. Malaysian politics was dominated by the right-wing Malaysian Solidarity Convention, whereas Singapore politics was dominated by the People's Action Party, which was centralist, which was also known as the PAC. The main issues for Singapore was Malaysia's Malaysian Malaysia policy, which discriminated against anything that was not Malaysian, as well as Malaysia that wanted Singapore to become its heart. All of these factors combined led to an effort to reduce autonomy in Singapore. One of the main stipulations was that the People's Action Party was not allowed to run in the next general election at all. No, 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 no way. No, no, don't, don't run, don't run, compete. They competed. They only got 1% of the vote. This was enough to anger the Malaysian government so much that they, got, that they got kicked out of the union. Things didn't turn out so bad for Singapore though, as the com overly competent government made it one of the richest countries in Asia. Since we're on the topic of Singapore, I wanted to talk a bit about how the name was created. Back in the 600 ADs, there was a prince that got shipwrecked on the island. While we hunting there, as you do, he spotted a lion and as created as they were, he named it Lion City. Now in Malay, Lion is singer and City is Pora, so therefore Singapore, which gave rise to the Singapore we have today. Thank you for watching, this video was really fun to make. If you liked it, please leave a like, otherwise have a good day.